<laughs> Alrighty. Wait, no, it's good. Oh, I can't close. My camera's on. <laughs> well, hey, look what Michael did. Yeah, I got look a backlash. Yeah, I got a backlash. A pretty bad one, too. I couldn't get it out. I wasn't even going to try to get it out. I just handed it to him. He's gotten so many over the years that he just knows how to do it. Yeah, I don't backlash anymore. Yeah, that's what you say, and then you cast, and you get a backlash, and it takes you 20 minutes to get it out. <laughs> He's been sitting there messing with mine for like 30 minutes. Oh, looky there. You finally made a decent cast. So... Bill Dance cast every cast sitting down. I got one. I got one another one. Ha ha ha. On camera two. On camera two. Come here, buddy. He bit it before, or he bit it once, and then I hooked him. He's not big, but it's a fish. Two and four casts. There he goes. Two and four casts. Let me fix this one. Yep, just got two. I don't know. I don't know the name of this color. You get one? No. Oh, got two in this pearl blue kind of color. Just double fluke rig. No, that's not smoke a shad. Smoke a shad's like a gray color. I'm pretty sure this is like pro blue or something like that. There's a fish down there, but moving. I'm not going to move from here. What'd you say? Taking a break. I don't care. You can take a break. Yeah. He bit fairly close to the bank, too. He wasn't super far out. He bit twice before I hooked him. I felt him miss it once. And I felt him hit it again and I set the hook. Oh, there's one. He just hit it. I had one hit it again. I think he hit the back one. Didn't feel like he hit the front one. Maybe found a pattern, Zach. Yeah, he's just he's spot sniping now. Spot sniping me. This is where I caught the first one. Like, yeah, but that was like half an hour ago. Not really. Like in big tournaments. Somebody roll up and score keepers. You're going to go back to that place, are you? Yeah. But the fish are never in the same spot, though. I was actually originally planning on using this for bluegill with a little crappie jig, this rod. But then I got that backlash in my bait caster, so I just switched this over to a double rig. This here is Big Bite or Big Bait Baker. Go check out his channel. I might, may or may not have the link in the description. Depends on if I can remember to put it there. Right now is a product review. Yeah, he's he just posted a product review like literally as I was at his house. He's doing a product review on the Houdini Shad made by Yum. And I'm just catching fish on the Zoom super fluke you know what i ought to do i ought to get in my tackle box and switch these over to them uh drop shot minnows oh, he just missed one switch them over to them drop shot minnows and do drop shot minnow versus fluke challenge huh well you're using houdini shad we could do houdini shad versus drop shot minnow also yeet Or we could just do soft soft plastic jerk baits versus soft plastic jerk baits. Use any of them. Soft jerk bait 
Yeah. Because they've been catching fish. Tell them real quick. You go ahead and tell them about how many fish you've been catching on that Houdini shed the past few days. Roughly six to seven fish on this in two days. Yeah, he's been fishing for the past three days. One eighth ounce jig head by Water Gremlin and a Friot EWT from Gamagatsu. Gamagatsu hooks are awesome. I love I love that brand of hooks. Yep, that's all he's been doing. You guys might be able to see it there. He just pulling it up and letting it sink. This pond has actually got a little bit of hydril in it. I just found that today. It wasn't in here the last time I was here. Here's some right here. Right there is hydrilla. And a lot of people say that hydrilla is some of the best bass fishing grass there can there is. I'm really looking forward to this summer. I got one. I got one again. I, oh my god, we're doubling up. Oh no, mine came off. Mine was a big one though. I doubled up. Oh, was doubled up. Dang it. Mine was big. Like I could barely move it. Oh god. Triple. <laughs> we got another. We're doing doubles. Come on. Oh, he's got a big one. Come on, I want to hook one too. Hey, he's not giant, but he's good. About the size of mine. My first one. Come on. Yeah. There's one he caught. A little bit. Uh, yeah, I'd say about eight. He caught a yeah that one i had man i couldn't hardly move it it was it was like burying down in the grass i know it wasn't grass either because i could feel it like pulling the rod We're well, filming. yeah are you yep you need to buy one of these head cams man these things are good i don't, I don't like a lot of weight on my hat well see what i got i put one hat one camera here or one phone here that way it'll ca counterbalance it How deep is it? Maybe two foot wow, he's fishing two foot deep, which could be a bed fish, you know what? Could have possibly been a bed fish. Soft plastic jerk baits are wrecking them. And he hit the he swam into the concrete, didn't he? Concrete. Yeah, that happens. Soft plastic jerk baits are doing it, man. Houdini shads and flukes. And probably what, 15 mile an hour wind, 60 some degrees. Yeah, I'd say so, somewhere around there. Uh, it's, it's I don't know, when that sun is kind of warm. Cloudy. Yeah, it's cloud and then the sun come out and then clouds. And probably. I'd say a foot. Yeah, it's, it's really clear compared to what my pond has been the past few. He just missed another one. He's got to be on bedfish. Yeah, he's got to be. I mean, two yeah, two foot over there, catching and getting bites like that, he's got to be on bedfish. You're talking about visibility. Huh? I can go that far, that's about two foot. Yeah. I'm going to cast back this way, see if I can get a bite. That's where I caught my first one, the biggest one so far. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. As soon as I started twitching, the fish grabbed it. He, he busted like he busted on it. Oh, he just hit it again. Come on, fish. Son of a gun, he won't, he won't keep it. Like, as soon as I cast it, he busted on it. Oh, oh. Did he hit it? Cast over there, man. He might bite that white. There you go. Yeah, he, they're using white. Pearl white. Yeah, pearl white, which, I mean, the same color, really. He's using a pearl white Houdini shad. I'm using these pro blue flukes, double rigged. I'm pretty sure that he's over there using a swimming dinger, like one of the yum... Is it Yum or Zoom that makes a swimming dinger? Yum, a swimming dinger. I can't remember these. Huh? Yeah, I don't use them either.
Yeah. They're April both 15th. using yums. Huh? April 15th, 2018. Yep, April 15th, 2018. Catching, catching fish. Getting bites and catching fish. Yeah. Yeah, because you've caught two and I've caught two. I caught two like in four casts. I casted mine a bit too shallow. Let me pull it up over your line. There we go. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get. I feel like I'm gonna get a bite. Huh? Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna get a bite here pretty soon. Again. Maybe I'll move a little bit slower. I mean, this over here can't be too deep, can it, Zach? I mean, right here where I've been getting... Is it four foot, really? Probably on the bottom, but this grass makes it look like a little bit shallower. Ooh. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting bites, but I can't really tell sometimes. Yeah. But she's just sitting on a culvert casting out. I'm sitting here in, like, probably three inches of water, maybe. Yeah, it would have been awesome. Especially mine. Mine felt like it was huge. Well, I'm talking this one here felt like I hooked a catfish or something. Of this year? Yeah, I, I think so. I think that second, that first fish I caught was probably my biggest I've caught this year. Yeah, he caught his personal best of the year yesterday on uh, Houdini Shed. Yeah, you guys go check out his channel. He's been doing product reviews and stuff like that, catching pretty pretty good bass fishing the same pond I'm fishing here today. Yeah, he mostly posts his posts uh, videos on Fridays, but he posted one today, just kind of a uh, extra video. Ooh, bullfrog! Hear that? Yeah, there will be another video up tomorrow. Got one. The soft jerk baits are doing work today, boys and girls. Since we started the challenge, we're all one to one. Everybody. There we go, boys and girls. He hit it twice. I just didn't say anything because every time I say something, I don't get it. There he is. Another decent, decent little fish on the double fluke rig. Yep, we're all tied to one. Yeah, well, no, I got more than you because you only caught two. I'm talking about since we started the challenge. Oh, yeah. I've caught three in, what, maybe, yeah, about 20 minutes on this double fluke rig to where I wasn't catching. He got one. Hey, got another one. Oh, nice. It looks like a nice one. And I'm the only one using a bait caster. Yeah, we're both using, me and him are over there using spinning rods. That's another 10 to 12 inches over there. Yeah. 12 inches. That's got another 12 inch over there on the other bank. Yep. Oh, look at this, boys and girls. We got a knot situation over here. Right in the nostril. Hooked it. I hooked, I hooked all mine kind of in the corner. Come on, I can stand up here. It's fine. Could you? Yeah. Oh, cool. That knot just came right out. Awesome. Don't have to cut anything or anything like that. But yeah, just fishing. Uh, I'm pretty sure this main line, or the, uh, the leader line is 10 pound berkeley trialene and i'm pretty sure that my main line is also 10 pound berkeley trialene yeah yeah because you're using eight and I'm using the heaviest, which is probably 14. yeah he's using he's using mystery line he don't even know how heavy it actually is and two years old. yeah it's two year old line too so it's hard to say how big it is i got a bobber stopper on here from my bobber that i was using Yeah, Zebco owns Omniflex. The last 
why the line's so strong in that slingshot. On the cops. Yeah. I only got a 15 minute video and already caught, what, two fish or three fish? Two fish on it. Well, then you guys caught fish also. So I think I'm going to stop it here. Thanks for watching. Bye.